Thailand capital, Abia, Abangwa, Lagos, Badagri, Enugu, Usuka, Potakotu, Pitakwa, and crossing the river Calabar. Located in a state known as God's Own State is a commercial city called Abba. Abba is a city full of life and the hustle and bustle characteristic that is common with most cities. Abba is often called the China of Africa because of its versatility in the making of rears and leather works. Come with me as I explore the city of Abba. What's popping? Kilo Shelley, again in the race. Let's go there. Okay, wonderful people, beautiful people. It is your favorite baby girl, Dora Gizel, on the microphone. I hope you can hear me. <laughs> Anyways, guys, if you are new to my channel, I am Chidera Gizel, a Nigerian lifestyle vlogger living in Owerri, but currently I'm in the city of Abba. Abu Mwaba, Mwaba, Mwaba. So I'm in Abba and we are on our way to the market. We are preparing for a wedding. My baby girl that is wedding is inside here. We are preparing for a wedding. So we are now to the market. So currently we are the place where we came to withdraw. If you can see it's EPOS, what's banking and all of that. So we came to withdraw money that we need in the market. So this is the newest way of withdrawing money in Nigeria. You know when you go to the ATM, there are usually a lot of people there and if you don't have that kind of time, you just go to the POS and pay them some little money depending on how much you want to withdraw and you call your money sharp sharp and get going, you know, anyways. I saw some shoemakers, like real shoemakers, people that make shoes from the scratch for the first time ever in Abba and I was so so excited and I discovered that in Abba, there's no difference between residential areas and where people actually make wears. You can see these are leather slippers. I don't know, okay, this is rubber. Yeah, this is not leather. This is rubber. I saw a lot of places on this street where they make leather and the rest of them. And the name of this place is called Power Line. If I'm wrong, please correct me. I can't really remember the names of all those places. They were just so new to me because it was my first time in Abba. So if you look at the streets from the front to the upper parts, there are just so many people making different types of footwears, beautiful sandals, beautiful things. You can see the name of this person's enterprise and you can see the shop, you can see different sandals. So most times when you see all these sandals and they tell you, I don't know why Nigerians do that stuff, we produce this thing instead of being proud of it that is made in a bar and all of that. We use made in a bar as a derogatory term, like we use it as something that is not supposed to be. If you use something that is made in a bar, then you are cheap, then you are fake. You must use um, all those foreign brands for them to know, all those designer brands for them to know that you have landed. And that's why when a bar people make wears for you, they just put um, Gucci or made in China. Since it's made in since it's made in China, you want or made in Italy, you want. They're just going to put it for you and they're going to deceive you. But most of the foods we are seeing in the markets, they are actually made in a uh, bar. And I was just so so proud. Like our uh, people are doing us so so well. So please, whenever you hear anything made in Nigeria, flaunt it, say it. Even if it doesn't last, it's why we encourage all these industries that they are going to stay more. But if we keep on shying away from the facts that we use them. Then those industries will keep on hiding and will forever be hiders or is there any word like that? I don't know, will forever be under these people that we always farm their stuff. I don't know if you get what I'm saying. Yeah, so this is it for power line. We're supposed to go to a place where they actually do this thing in a bigger way because Olivia's cousin that was taking us around said they do this in a bigger way somewhere else but we're hurrying to the market because we're supposed to leave Abba that same day. Yeah. Ava. Road. 
give her money now. So we headed to shopping complex, a busy shopping plaza. I don't know if you know about very well. Please help me know the correct name in the comment section. But it's located at Asa Road. So we went there because we wanted to get some lace and some materials. So that was the best place for us to have gone. So we went there and when we got to the entrance of the place, because Olivia's cousin that took us there does not really know the market. I don't know i was not paying attention i was vlogging but they kind of met a guy there that offered to take us around take us to places where we'll see things and i don't ever 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 make that mistake and if you're listening to me don't ever make that mistake if you don't know a market just go on your own figure out everything on your own don't let anybody take you inside because if they're supposed to sell something to you at 4,000 naira they're going to sell it at 6,000 naira with serious abego and the most annoying part is that they are going to take you around the whole market like they are going to take you to a very very far place and when you get there you are not going to meet your expectation here yeah. so we got to this shop and we discovered that it's just traditional marriage attire they sell there like the up and down judge that ladies usually tie on their track that's what we saw in this shop and that was not what we were looking for so guys we followed somebody inside the market i don't i don't ever make this mistake of following somebody inside the market i like going on my own to anywhere i'm going because once you follow them inside the market, by the time you get to their shop, you will not see what you are looking for. It's not possible for you to see what you are looking for. You will not see what you get to look for here now. Um, I'm still following them to another place and I feel this is a very very bad idea. But let's let's keep on going and see what happens. So we got to this shop. We saw really nice laces that we really wanted to take. But there was a but. Everything was outrageously expensive. And I discovered that it was because they were so much in that shop. So anything they were going to get, they were going to divide it between themselves. And they were still going to settle the guy that brought us there. So I just coded to Olivia that we should take style and leave. Yeah, I typed it on my phone. I was supposed to speak in Igbo, but they understand Igbo. So I had to type it on my phone. So guys, she's looking for a list that will be similar to this one here. She's looking for this type of material too. And um, see the material they're using. Yeah, so I don't know. Yeah, it's like normal list. But what do you need it for? What do you need it for? It's okay, is that shabby? So, this is how the plaza looks on the inside. When we came, it was still very very early so not so many people were already around but now they're already around yeah and olivia later saw some laces at fair prices so she got the one she wanted and we moved on to i don't know the name of this road i don't know the name of this road but they sell a lot of shirt materials here and she wanted to get some shirt materials so she bought the shirt materials on this line this place is so so busy so i'll beg you if you know about very well tell me the name of this place i'm supposed to know the names of these places but the person that was carrying us around didn't really know the names of these places so i couldn't do much about it <laughs> I saw my wicked in law. I saw my wicked in law. Papa, you fall. Leave out the place. I don't want to know. I saw my wicked in law. I saw my wicked in law. I actually forgot that is it about that they produce all these voiceovers. And I didn't even know they were called voiceovers until I started YouTube. It was just so so amazing to see that guy passing with that thing. It was so funny, and that's why I captured it. So you can see this orange and black and white material over there at the top left corner of the screen. I almost got it, but Olivia told me that she has been seeing that material everywhere. And I was like, before I start wearing school uniform, let me just drop this material. So at this point, the time was around 12 p.m. or 1 p.m. and we were so so hungry and we didn't see any other thing to eat, so we decided to go for this snacks. And I downed the snacks with a cold bottle of maltina because i was so so weak i was so so tired like that day i went to a bar i got 10 shades darker i'm serious i mean it i was really really dark after i came back from a bar the sun was just too hot for me and the stress was just so much so it really affected me because as you all know i'm up now for that special <laughs> oh my god
was looking for a hat for her pre ready and um, pre ready photo shoot to the shop. They said it's a good all the good stuff. This is also this thing. This fan, I've been waiting they call this thing. It's Ah, it was a giraffe. Giraffe is Yago. Then get them before. Yes. Nice Yago, me, I know. So I'm going to go to the car. I'm going to go to the car. I'm going Maybe me will carry and go by ourselves. Wait, I, I no! I see! Hey, Gio Bale. So this is what these people do and if you don't have thick skin they are going to drag your bag and you may hear a story about that bag they may not snatch it or something but it's just better for you to carry your belonging possess your possession by yourself so that you not come and have wahala after traveling all the way from where you came even if you didn't travel after going through stress to buy something somebody will now come and bring wahala and put at your doorstep and you now accept it because you cannot carry bag or what so guys i'm currently at asa road i don't know if you can hear me Olivia, <laughs> say hi. Jesus. You're looking like somebody that's too goof. <laughs> but as I wrote that, we are now way to area right now because we need to get um, footwears and a hat, and we can't find it in this shopping complex. This as I wrote, so we'll just be on our way to area right now. Enter on general bus to that place. Look at how busy this road is. Jesus. Abba is so busy, but it's not. Is learning where Onicha is. Onicha is the busiest I've ever been to. So we headed towards Ariaria International Market. There was actually a slippers Olivia wanted to get. I know you guys saw when she pointed at the slippers earlier in this video, and we're like, let's go to Ariaria. It may be cheaper. But when we got to Ariaria, it was not cheaper. It was more expensive, and it was not attractive at all. Anyways, this is already Ariaria. It extends upwards yeah it extends upwards and for the first time i met a kind driver that was going telling me how to make video video this place call this place this one call this one that one i was just so so shocked so this is Ariara international market if you have not come here before and guys can you see the way olivia is dressed up this thing she wore olivia is a slay queen on normal deal you can't see her wearing this thing but do you know what she said she said she was going to dress like this so they will not call price for her <laughs> This girl is not going to kill me. Say she was going to dress this way because if they see her dressing all posh, they are going to call price for her. They'll think she has plenty money. So you can see how area area market looks on the inside. Yeah, not so many people were around on this day we went. I don't know why. And I wanted to get these heels, but I didn't get them later because I felt they were just too 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 expensive. So guys, we're currently in the park. <laughs> Jesus, the load is so heavy and I don't like carrying heavy things on my hand. So we're currently in the park. Once we're going to enter a motor that will go to Olu because we're going to Olu. We're going to Olivia's village, Umudioka. So, once we're going to enter Olu Moto. What's going on? Can you hear many? Can you hear many? Touch you what's happening. Is there a bad thing to ask? Are we going to look for free? I I I got for free. It's not our money we are paying. Oh, we go kind of yegi. Eh, oh, we go kind of yegi. Ni kijaba inba. So how many are we going to get? Oh, we go kind of yegi. Oh, we go kind of yegi. Ni kijaba inba. So how many are we going to get? Oh, we go kind of yegi. Oh, we go kind of yegi. Ni kijaba inba. So how many are we going to get? Oh, we go kind of yegi. Oh, we go kind of yegi. Ni kijaba inba. So how many are we going to get? Thank you also so much for your love and support. I'm so so tired and exhausted. Thank you for your love and support. And I'm going to be seeing you in my next video. From now on, bye. Kiss, kiss. Love you.